Hi guys, welcome to a new video. How to defeat the fear of open water swimming. In this video, I will be sharing all the steps and practical tips that helped me defeat the fear of open water swimming. These tips and tactics allowed me to progress from being terrified of swimming even 10 meters in open water to being able to swim four kilometers comfortably, calm, relaxed in my lake, in the sea, and even in the ocean. Being able to swim is the biggest barrier for entry to doing a 70.3 or an Ironman. But straight after that, the biggest barrier is, you guessed it, open water swimming. Swimming open water introduces a whole lot of new variables and, let's face it, fears. Oftentimes, where we can swim and train does not allow for 100% of visibility of our surroundings. And this oftentimes causes anxiety and panic, especially in lakes and especially when you are one kilometer off from dry land, alone in the middle of it. Who knows what could be lurking down there. I was once exactly in that spot. I needed to learn how to open water swim and the only available body of water close to me was a lake. This lake actually has very clear water, but it's deep. So basically, as soon as I would get 10 meters off the coast, visibility would turn to zero. All I could see was green. So I was in a pickle. I needed to learn how to swim open water, but I could only train in a spot where I did not feel comfortable. As irrational as it might seem, the fear of this foreign, unknown entity that is open water, so different from the dry land, is real. Problems in the swim section are a big cause for DNFs in race. So I believe practicing swimming open water as much as possible can give a big benefit to ensure that we are prepared and can give out our max on race day. In the beginning, I was truly proper terrified, but with these exact tactics that I will explain right now, I completely overcame that fear in a pretty short period of time. I think around one month, one month and a half. These tips also work for swimming open water in the sea as well as in a lake. Number one, I started off swimming with a wetsuit. Wetsuits are buoyant and allow for comfortable feeling of security by helping us feel like we are going to float no matter what. This can especially be helpful in lakes where water density does not really aid with buoyancy and a wetsuit can really make a difference. This is the first and the most important tip I would give to anyone in my experience. If there's only one tip that you take away from this video, it is get a wetsuit and swim with a wetsuit. Using a wetsuit to get gradual exposure to swimming open water is the single biggest thing that helped me overcome the fear. There are many different wetsuits out there. Personally, I got a super entry level one to start off and then progress to a proper swimming wetsuit more buoyant and generally better for swimming. One tip I would give is many people will tell you not to swim in a wetsuit if it's hot, if it's summer. But I argue against that and say, if you are only just getting into open water swimming, wear a wetsuit even if it is 30 degrees. I know a wetsuit would not be allowed in race conditions above 24 degrees and that you probably don't need the thermal insulation, you'll be hot. But right now, if you are just getting into open water and you are scared, if you're working on overcoming this fear and being comfortable in water, I would wear a wetsuit and start getting out there. So I would get in a wetsuit no matter what and just get out there and get exposed to open water. Another tip that I used was as I progressed, I stopped using a wetsuit and I started using just swim jammers made of neoprene, which add a little bit with buoyancy, but I don't have the thermal insulation of a wetsuit. So during summer, they're very, very nice to use. Number two, I started off gradually exposing myself to open water by swimming really short distances. I'm not kidding. The first time I went, I swam a total of 150 meters, <laughs> but that is enough. Even just going through the motion of getting to the lake, putting on the wetsuit, walking to the edge, diving in and swimming any distance can help. Any step forward, as microscopic as it might seem, can really make a big difference, especially with things that have a big resistance against us and really get us outside of our comfort zone. Three, use an inflatable buoy. This is absolutely for safety reasons, so boats and other people can see you, but also for being able to take breaks. This is a big tip that I personally in the beginning did not do, but that I started to do for safety reasons last year. Having a buoy makes you visible. You can carry stuff in it, but especially it provides something buoyant to hold on in any case if the need should arise and rest, chill out. This means if you are toast, you can just relax, chill out and grab onto the buoy, which provides much needed support to rest. Another thing that becomes a solid reality while using a buoy is that you can treat an open water swim session more like a pool session. You can swim 200 meters and then just rest, grab onto the buoy, relax, and then do it again. So you can maintain a higher intensity even in the open water. Use mirrored goggles. This is a bit more advanced as a tip, but having mirrored goggles ensures we can sight at all times. I learned this the hard way because what happened to me one morning as I was swimming alone in the lake was I swam out to the opposite side of the lake from where I've dived in. But then I turn around to come back and bam, 
I was hit with sunlight straight in the face and I could not sight at all. Imagine if this had happened in a more dangerous situation like at the sea or in a race or just a less familiar place. I learned my lesson and now I swim mostly always with mirrored goggles when it's sunny. The only exception would be if it is before dawn or if it is mega overcast, well then I would just use some clear or just some polarized goggles. Swim with other people. This is a big tip because being exposed to open water, swimming with other people who are already more advanced can really boost our confidence. I started to do this the second year that I was swimming and I was at the sea, so completely open water swimming off the coast and I found it really, really helpful. Even if they don't have the same pace as you, which is what happened to me as I was swimming with way faster athletes. They were swimming like 120s per 100 meters. We were doing some loops around buoys that were off the coast. So we could be in the same place, even if we were not in super close proximity. And swimming with other people really helped me just feel comfortable because you see someone else doing something and you think, if they do it, I can do it. Practice swimming open water during a smaller race before your big A race. This is massive in my experience. Getting out there on the start line, starting the swim surrounded by hundreds of other people with all the chaos, mayhem, and tactics that you need to figure out, like following someone's feet, is really a great way to jump in the deep end and see how it works out. It's not easy by any means, and I've seen many people have panic and anxiety attacks and having to revert to swimming backstroke or breaststroke, but I believe it can be really, really helpful in just exposing us to open water plus the race scenario. Swim with music. Okay, so this is a little extra tip, but really helped me. I would just pop in one earbud and have some good tunes going with my underwater MP3 player. This would help ease the monotony of swimming in a lake and basically only seeing green for 50 minutes to an hour. And it provides a little bit of an added motivation. One thing I would say though is the first times maybe swim without music, then try it with, and always be mindful of your surroundings, like boats, kayaks, and all that stuff. Wear a high visibility swim cap. This, I believe, is a very important thing for safety, and it is to wear a very high vis swim cap together with the buoy, so you are really visible from shore. And just in case that anything happens, people from the shore will be able to see you. One last tip I will share that really worked for me was one to combat overthinking. Overthinking, is what basically actually leads to most of the anxiety in open water. We can't see for certain what is in our surroundings, so our mind starts making things up. This is absolutely normal. Imagine being on dry land in the middle of a fog. You can't see anything. Well, that is basically what happens when we go open water swimming in a lake or in sea with poor visibility. A tactic that I used to stop these thoughts was to swim harder for 30 seconds to a minute whenever they arised. This basically caused my whole mind and thought process to shift to only being focused on exactly providing power to get through my stroke at this harder pace. This in turn made me breathe harder and switched off all overthinking. The body and mind are busy enough already with completing the stroke. They have no extra energy to waste on stupid overthinking. My brain literally had to stop projecting about stuff because it only had one goal and that was to maintain this higher effort. And all the other thoughts, which were not essential, went away. Doing this slowly got me comfortable and more comfortable, especially if you always go in the same place. Those are some of the tips and tactics that really helped me to defeat the fear of open water swimming. I'm so glad that I did it. I believe that open water swimming is a very, very nice skill to have for general life, but especially for 70.3 and Ironman. And I'm so glad that I went through that hard moment, those hard two, three months, but I learned the craft. Now I'm super comfortable in any body of water. I'm really relaxed. I can be wherever at the sea in the lake and I have zero problems because I just expose myself to it so much and so much. And I believe that a big volume of exposure to open water is what really does the trick. For my full distance Ironman prep, I basically only swam open water. I swam open water, I was just in the lake. And the more time I would spend in the lake, the more chill I would be in it and comfortable. It just became second nature to do so. Join in the Discord chat if you wanna to talk to other like-minded people from across the globe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching.